Okay, so today I thought I would make a quick video as a sort of follow-up to my first video on zero water, which was the TDS. And there's been a couple questions about the pH level. And so I shopped around at a couple different superstores and um, picked up this AquaCheck. And it tests for four things, total hardness, total bromine, total alkalinity, and pH. Um, yeah, here it goes. I'm going to open up. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is again test the TDS and the first glass over here that I have is my tap water which is a drilled well. So let's test that and it's only interestingly enough oh, it's 106 which normally is like 220 or something, so that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this test strip in the water, and then time for 15 seconds. So this is just directly out of my tap. And that's been 15 seconds, and to match these up, the first one is total hardness, it's a zero. The parts per million of total bromine is a zero. The alkalinity is, I'd say, an 80. And finally, the pH level is, I'd say, between a 7.8 and an 8.4. So I'll put that one right here. And that's my tap water. The next one we have is the town water. So the municipal water where I get it filled up in 18 liter jugs. And it's a consistent as before, 73, which is what I've expected in the past. So let's test the pH and alkalinity on that one. Okay, so for the town water, the municipal water that I get or could drink. The total hardness again is zero, bromine zero. I would say the alkalinity is between a four, so 40 and 80, so let's say a 60. And I would say this very much matches a 6.8 to 7.2 on the pH level. So that's town water as the second one. Okay, so the third one is Aquafina. Let's do this first. Turn this off and then on. And I just bought these so you can. The total, oh, I can't. It's a zero. I'll hold it. It's completely zero. As expected. So let's test the pH a bit and alkalinity. So I'll wait for 15 seconds. Okay, so for the Aquafina, again we have PPM uh, for hardness at zero, bromine zero, a little bit lighter on the alkalinity, so 
a little bit lighter than a 40, so probably a 30. And for the pH, we're looking at a 6.8. Pretty good match. Maybe a little bit lighter than a 6.8. So 6.6, .6, because this is 6.2 or 6.5, something like that. So that's the Aquafina. And next we have the Avion. Oh no, sorry. The Avion. Which, let's see, oh yeah, this one fits. Okay, so it's at zero. Let me turn it off and then back on. Here's the Avion. Uh, oh. at 267 and let's test the alkalinity on that one okay here it goes we'll wait for 15 seconds okay so this one actually we have some total hardness in it. And I'm gonna go with a 250, which is the first hardness I've seen. Bromine again, zero. Alkalinity is way up at 180, slightly darker. So the next one is 240, so let's say a 200. And as far as pH is, I guess I gotta go with the 7.8. It looks like it's between the two of them, so 7.8. So that's for Avion. And now for Fiji. Turn this off. Fiji water is. One thirty four. And so let's see what the alkalinity of that one is. Wait for fifteen seconds. So I'm not sure how this is uh, useful or why I'm doing this uh, as far as my own personal interest, but. Again, there's been some questions asked on the channel about the alkalinity of these things, so or the pH level, and so uh, I thought I'd do a follow-up video. Okay, so for the Fiji water, we have about 100 for the less than 100, so about maybe an 80, because it's not blue, but it's purple, but not quite that purple, so I'd say an 80 for hardness. Bromine zero, alkalinity slightly lighter than the 180, so let's say 160. And the pH is again in the middle, so I'd say between 7.2 and 8.4, so roughly 7.8. So that's for the Fiji water. Okay, so now we have my zero water, which is right back here. And my guess is that the TDS should be zero. Yep. So it's zero. And this is just straight up zero water. And as per my old video, I remineralize, which I'm gonna to get to in a minute. So I'll dip that in the water. And wait for my 15 seconds. Okay. So for the zero water, just on its own, the hardness is zero. It's completely blue. Bromine zero. Alkalinity is below 40. It's less than 40. So I'd say a 10, maybe a 20. And as far as the pH level, it's, it's down. It's uh, at a 6.2, so at the very bottom. So that's for the zero water. 
Now for this one, this is also my zero water. Let me just move this out of the way. This is also my zero water, but I usually put it in a 500 or one liter jug. So, and then I put five drops in. So let's just test it to see if it's zero. And you can see it's zero. Um, so now I'm gonna add five drops. That's roughly five. Just give it a little shake. And it should be about, I'd say 250, something like that. Oh, reset, sorry. So we'll start again. So it's 185. 185. Okay, so we're going to test this one now. With this is how I drink it. This is how I would go to work or go shopping or whatever with water. I'll wait my 15 seconds. So I think this is what the people were interested in was what is the concentrate. Just the zero water plus the concentrates, what is the alkalinity of that? So the total hardness is about 100, maybe slightly more. So maybe 125, something like that. Bromine, of course, is zero. The alkalinity is very down here. It's less than 40, and it's not this color at all. So I guess it's at the bottom. And then as far as the pH, I would say it's a, it's a 6.8, maybe a 7.2. Okay, now I've got a couple more tidbits of info or interesting points. Here is another way that I drink water. It's a soda stream. And if I turn this off and then back on, and it should be zero water. So it's zero. Anyways, it's zero. So now I'm gonna add bubbles. So here's what I do. And I usually wait till there's three, three feedbacks or farts. And okay, let's test. So it was zero, and then now that I've thrown some carbon into it or carbon dioxide, turn it on and then off again. And then let's see, I think it's 30 or something, it usually turns out to be. Yeah, 33, 31, 35. Oh, you can't see it. But it's 35, something like that. Now let's uh, sauce this into here. Just give that a test. But I, I oh, that's interesting. I wouldn't drink uh, it like this. I'm going to remineralize it now. Okay, so with the bubbles, the zero water plus bubbles, the results are slightly hard, uh, just beyond the, the zero, so maybe a 10. Zero bromine, these ones both turned yellow. The alkalinity is below zero, as well as the pH is below 6.2, so very low. So finally, I'm gonna do the zero water with the bubbles, plus for the one liter, I usually add about 10 drops, so 
10 drops. Something like that. So again, it's probably around 200 or I guess between 170 and 220 or something like that. Of the TDS, the total dissolved solvents. It's actually three, 303. 301, I can't get it in there, but 301. So here, we'll pour it in here. Oh, yeah, I better use that one. Yeah, so anyways, it's about 301. And finally, as the final test, I'm gonna soak this one. And wait for my 15 seconds and I'll take a photo of this at the end. Okay, so for, this is how I drink water at home on an evening or weekend. It's better than beer. It's uh, just bubbly water basically with remineralized. So the hardness is about a 250. It's the same color purple. Bromine zero. Alkaline or alkalinity is, again, they're both uh, a yellow whereas these are more like a salmon color, so they, they must be below that. So off the charts. So anyways, thanks for watching.